Hey guys, welcome back to another Trove Quick Tips video. We're going to be going over how to get banners. I've been getting this question a lot in my Trove streams of how do I get banners because they see me with my banners in my inventory and they want to know how I get them. And I'm going to tell you how you get them. One, they're untradeable, so I won't, that no one can trade them to you. You'll have to make them or find them on your own. Uh, step number one, or what way number one, is going to be from these pressure lock Delver's caches. You have a uncommon chance i guess to get one of the radiant banners there's gonna be four radiant banners the uh, manacle the geo seeker nitro tracer and uh, steel weave um, each of these are going to give 300 light the nitro tracer is going to give additional 10 movement speed as well as the 300 light and then they also are going to have a different thing in there um or ability i guess um this one is going to be slow your targets move speed um, extra geodes this one's gonna give extra nitro while mining nitro this one's really really good you can get up to six nitro um, with from just one nitro um, break so a really good standard to have while farming and then this one is gonna give you energy regen when you deal damage and then there's also gonna be the super rare chance um, I've opened probably three four thousand of these boxes and I've only gotten one stellar banner out of them. Um, but this one's going to give you um, 400 light and 10 movement speed. This is the same for all of these stellar banners. They all give 400 light and 10 movement speed. Um, this one is the trackers. Um, every two and a half seconds, um, they highlight enemies through walls, which is kind of helpful if you're starting to find that like one or two last enemies in a, in a room to clear out the room. So that could help you. Um, I don't have the other two, but the other two are called um, Sweet Stepper Standard, which is when you're in the Hive Delve, which is the honey, with all the pools of honey. Um, it reveals hidden platforms within the, the pools of honey, so maybe you can not get slowed down by that. Um, the other one is the Cube Rooter, which is the one I'm, I really want to get because it, in um, chance when a nearby enemy dies, to root and debuff two nearby enemies. I really want to get this to put on my candy barb. The McKinney Barber is in my tank class, and I would be really helpful in the higher level delves to debuff enemies so my teammates can kill them faster. Really looking for that one. But those are your Stellar Banners and your Radiant Banners. Like I said, these are all going to come as a random chance from these Pressure Lock Delvers Caches. Um, the other way, and you've seen all these other banners here, um, you're going to get these from crafting right here. So all these have different of stats on them. Um, these green looking staff ones, these are gonna give you all physical damage with two additional um, stats like uh, jump, energy regen, health regen, move speed, attack speed, blast capacity. So pick what you wanna, you know, the two other stats you're looking for. These brown ones are gonna give you magic damage with the same um, second stats as these ones and then over here you got max health again with the same um, two um, secondary stats and just pick and choose what you kind of want to do um, I made 20 of these already just to kind of show you what you can get so you can get um, between I believe you can also get blue ones I'll make a couple more I, I didn't get any blue ones I thought you could maybe maybe I'm wrong but we'll make we'll make five more um, just so we can see if we get a blue one um, But these can range all the way from a green rarity to a radiant rarity. It's completely random what you get So I have a few greens some purple some relics a couple shadows and the one radiant banner here And all these are the fire cage arcane standards um, So the radiant is also gonna get 300 light just like these are but they're going to give you those other stats, magic damage. This one in particular is going to be magic damage, jump, and attack speed. And then they just decrease their stats as you go down. Um, 200 light for the relics. Um, 150 light for the purple. And then 100 light for the green. And 250 light for the uh, shadow banners. And that is about all there is to know about banners those are the two ways you can get your banners these are these banners are permanent so once you make them they are yours you don't have to worry about getting like a weekly kind of torch situation 
torches are going to be better because they are going to give more light but if you're struggling to get a torch and you just want to get like something permanent that you always have on you this is the way to go here like i said either from the delver's caches or just go ahead and make yourself one and hopefully you get lucky with a radiant that is it guys hope you guys like this video if you did leave a like leave a sub and hope like i said hopefully this guys this video helped you out understanding banners i'll see you guys in the next one